God damn it, you. Oh, boy. <laughs> you know what? Why surprise. You put six, six, six. <laughs> oh, you should have skipped it a secret <laughs> and make it a surprise. <laughs> Hang on. Just it accept it all. It Let's make it a good surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be defeated. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to Cooking for Night. Are you okay, Fred? S yeah, I'm fine. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Sorry about that. Oh, you have no, no idea, man. Anyways. I'm Mr. Host. And here with me are the duo of Michelin Star Chefs. Who have come all the way from Potomac. That's how I'm going to read that. The Potomac? Tonight they'll be showing the famous... Or Pontiac. Pontiac? Pontiac. Pontiac. Oh. Okay. It's a Michigan City. Forgive me for not yeah. knowing how that was uh, actually pronounced. That's okay. Tonight they'll be showing us the famous... Portella pizza recipe. Portella. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Portella. Thank you for having yeah. us, huh? <laughs> Can't lose. I mean, I'm from a pizzeria. Now, we want to start off by preheating the oven to an idea 666 degrees. Not that far off. Most pieces take 450. Uh, while that's heating, uh, we'll gather our ingredients. Here we have uh, tortilla shells, mozzarella cheese, edibles, uh, and hearty marinara sauce, Italian seasoning, and of course, marbles. Marbles? Man, we'll be tripping balls and each other. Jesus. Hmm? Yes, you will, with that unique blend of flavors. I've never seen mozzarella and marbles used in the same recipe before. Then again, the last time that happened, I ended up being sued into oblivion. <laughs> Don't ask how I managed to get this on the air. Don't worry. We both take much pride in the culture of our hometown of Pontiac, Michigan. We feel it's a necessity to share our history with the world through our cooking. Uh, we'll have to cook the edibles on the stovetop first. Oh. Uh, we're going to prepare the pan by pouring some up. Uh, uh, so pop right here in the center, and just spread it around. Goodness, that smells wonderful! May I add the edibles? Of course, but just be careful. The pop simmers quickly, and it may spatter. I'm hungry, and I don't know why. Meanwhile, I'm going to lay out our little tortilla here. We're going to be using this spork to evenly spread the ingredients. Our sauce, our cheese, I'm glad they went with spork. Looks That's like the edibles are, is done cooking. You guys Give it, man, while well, it's still hot. Sprinkle the seasoning, and then we spread the marbles on top of it. And now... In you go! To make it to melt through, thorough, through whatever, Clever. Mm -hmm. How long do we keep it in the oven now? Until the tortilla crisps and turns a nice shade of purple. Purple haze, that is. <laughs> oh, that, uh, there's that purple. Let's take it out of the oven now. Oh, God, why am I doing this with bare hands? Ah! Ah, son of a bitch! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh! I, I don't okay. want to know why you thought that was a good idea. Okay, rinse your hands off. But that looks sensational. Yes, it is. I feel like it's only there for the chefs to take the first bite. Oh, no, no, no. We insist. You are going to be enjoying a delicacy of pure Pontiac Ohio goodness. I thought we were Pontiac, Michigan. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, heaven. It's delicious. You can really taste the kick of that edibles and the texture of the melted marbles. 
I might be losing my mind after this ends. Oh, you're going to be tripping balls, too. And it's this kind of cooking that brings us together. Can you hug me, fellow chef, please? Well, bring it in, chef. Bring it in. Bring it in, chef, for lunch, man. Mm. I've got you. Bottom to the tortilla, tortilla pizza. Oh, God, you got the munchies Baby. already. Such <laughs> for being such wonderful for bringing such wonderful cooking to my show, both of you just have a the trip to Manic Island. I'm reading it as Manic Island. I don't care what the actual pronunciation is. Is it Mackinac probably? Probably. Mackinac? Oh no, wait! It's spelled M-A-C-I-N-A-C-K. There's no K in Mackinac, right? Oh, the Mackinac. The Mackinac? No, no, that's the Mackinac. That's Mackinac. Okay. That's just another pronunciation of Mackinac, though. Okay. Okay, this is good. Okay. That has been my dream vacation since I was a child. I almost went there. Thank you. It truly is an honor. Thank you so much. I gotta go to the hospital for my hands. I know, I know. Let's go now. Hey, thank you two for being here. Don't worry. We have medics in the back that can help with you. Okay. Let's go back. Help with you. Thank help God. you with that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and that concludes oh, this episode of Cooking for Night. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Jesus. I could have sworn there was no K <laughs> in Mackinac. Well, this was a very good show. Was there isn't, but people pronounce it Mackinac Mackinac instead of Mackinac. Okay. Yeah. That's why I read it's, that as fucking manic. It threw me I, the fuck. <laughs> it almost threw me the fuck off because I remember dealing, being close to Mackinac. Mackinac. At least just be with the seat. Okay. It doesn't need to be the Mackinac yeah. Islands, okay? I mean, it's remember. The Mackinac Islands. So I mean, you're not the only one from Michigan. Dark is too, so. I know. Yeah. It almost threw me off too, cause like well, it's been a while since I've dealt with it. I mean, I haven't so been I. up to I, Upper Michigan since like okay. the third grade, okay. and I've that spent was the like on the island. That was like the late nineties. Shit. Yeah, this is. I, no, I, you're in island. I mean, yeah, my parents ended up taking me to Northern I Michigan spent three for days like, now. a while. Vacationing. Yeah. I, at, the, at the White Hotel? No, no, it was like I, an Airbnb. I stayed in the hotel on the island. My acting oh. could have been a little better than that one because I kept fumbling over the words. Was you coughing that whole time? Was you coughing at the start? Who needs weed? We got edible. We got edible. I'm muting myself so I want to be heard, but yes, I did cough. I did thought so. I did. I saw the motion of the hands going up to the mouth and coughing. That's all I knew. So, like, okay. All right. But yeah. Okay. I didn't want to be heard.